we can also enter in numbers in polar complex form. In the last video, I, went, I think I went over uh, rectangular complex form, which is a plus b uh, times i. And we also have real numbers, of course, but we can also select, um, if you look down here, is the third option, the polar complex numbers. And in that form, let me just hover over it here, r is our magnitude, e is the base of the natural log, theta is your angle, and i, of course, is the square root of negative 1. So if we select this, let's just be clear, we can actually work in um, polar complex mode. And typically the calculator likes, likes to do this in radian mode, so make sure you're in radians. If we quit here, the way you would enter a number is by starting with R, your magnitude, let's say 10, right? And you hit second, LN, that gives you E to the X, that's the E to the X command. And now we enter in our theta, our angle, and we're working in radians, so I'll enter in terms of pi, right? say pi divided by 4 and then times i, so second i. If you hit enter, right, the calculator interprets this also in decimal form. Uh, of course, it's keeping it radians, it's just converting it uh, so you're not, no longer using the symbol pi. Um, but you can enter numbers quickly this way uh, by using polar complex, the polar complex mode in the graphing calculator. In other videos, we'll go over lots of calculations with this and applications. I just wanted to introduce the mode in this video. Thanks.